up to today, the passion of Jesus continues in those who are vulnerable, the marginalized, and the people who encounter different challenges of life. The experience of the passion of Jesus, keeping the memory of the passion of Jesus has been the source of encouragement and hope for me personally in my general vocation. Since in that passion of Jesus, I see God coming down to save me, God coming down to be with me, God who took my sins on the cross. It's a experience that is extraordinary and uh, beyond the human thinking that God himself has decided to come down to be with me and to stay with me. So it renews my life, my vocation, and of course my mission as passionist. It's an unusual experience where on the cross and in the passion of Jesus, I see my wickedness, I see my arrogance, I see my pride, I see my selfishness. But on the other side, I see the amazing grace of God, the love of God that is beyond the human comprehension. It is in the cross that I learn how to forgive because it's where Jesus has forgiven me and the whole world. It's an experience of humility in the memory of passion of Jesus and in the cross of Jesus, where I learn to be humble, where I learn to be obedient, as how Jesus was obedient unto death. The meditation of the memory of the passion of Jesus for me, it's, it's my belief system. It, it becomes my mindset because it's where I learn the mind of God, the humility of God, and more so the will of God. And Jesus was obedient to that. In the memory of the passion of Jesus, I learned to let it go. To put God first means to put others first before me. I learn to forgive with all my heart. It's a place of power and wisdom and encouragement. The cross for me is not just a memory. It's a fact of reality that up to today, the passion of Jesus continues in those who are vulnerable, the marginalized and the people who encounter different challenges of life.